Let me ask you this, Richard. A year ago, when I interviewed you in the Mojave Desert, right next to, to Spaceship Two, I asked you if the risk is worth it. And you said, unless you risk something, the world stays still. Given this, is the risk still worth it? Yes, the risk is worth it. Um, and, and as I say, Mike would have, would have been the first to say that. I'm sure his parents and his wife and his sisters would not say that. But, um, but test pilots would say that because they know the risk they're taking, um, that they know the importance of what they're doing. We know the importance of what we're doing. Um, and, uh, you know, if, we, if, if test pilots hadn't taken risks, we wouldn't have had um, the 747, um, you, know, the, the, you know, two of the comets blew up in the early days of airline travel, and, and now um, airline travel is as safe as anything. Um, we've, we've got to go through the, the difficult testing stage of creating a space line um, in order to make it safe for um, travelers who want to travel on that space line in the years ahead. Will you still be the first, along with your family and a few others, to take that first civilian flight into space, Richard? There is no way that I would ask um, others to travel on Virgin Galactic um, unless I'd been the first to go myself, um, uh, and therefore I will certainly be the first to travel. Um, if, it, if, it's, uh, if I didn't feel it was safe enough for myself, um, I, I, um, I, I would not ask other people to take a flight. So, um, you know, we, we will finish building the next spaceship. Um, we will learn from what happened to the first spaceship. Um, we will test it many, many times um, before, um, before we go with, you know, many test pilots flying it. Um, and then I will go. How is pilot Peter Siebold doing at this hour? Uh, he's doing remarkably well, thank you, um, and we're, we're hopeful that he'll be out of hospital soon, um, walking, um, uh, and, uh, and, and his old, old smiling self hopefully soon back again. So um, no, no, um, no major injuries that can't be fixed. Wow, that, that is very good to hear. What about the pilot who perished, yeah. pilot Michael Alsbury? He's 39 years old. And you said that the bravery of these pilots cannot be overstated. What can you tell us about this man? He was an extremely brave man, um, and as all test pilots are, extreme, extremely brave people. Um, he had a young family. He was married, um, and, and his family loved him enormously. I mean, he had a sis sister that loved him enormously, parents that loved him enormously. Um, uh, but he was a test pilot, and test pilots are trying to discover things that um, that the you know, 400 um, engineers um, and technicians on the ground uh, can't necessarily see on the ground, and mm -hmm. the test pilots uh, push the, air, the, 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 the aircraft to the limit. I know you are limited in what you can say due to this investigation, but you are you know, at the helm of Virgin Galactic. You know about the science behind this. What the NTSB investigation has found thus far is that the feathers or those tail wings on Spaceship Two were unlocked earlier than they should have been before it even reached orbit. What could that have done to this rocket? The NTSB are, are the people, are the experts at this, but as, as they have stated, uh, it looks like um, it, it, it looks like they were unlocked early, and that's what they've said. Uh, and if that happened, um, you know, something catastrophic could have happened as a result. You have said to me time and time again, this is the most personal project for you that you have worked on in your career. This is the toughest thing that you have ever done. And some have said this is about people spending a quarter million dollars, rich people, celebrities going to space. but. You have said to me, this is about space exploration, this is about science, this is about point-to-point -point travel, New York to Sydney one day in an hour. This is about building hotels in, in space. What is this about for you? This is about, as I say, creating uh, the most incredible space line that can do the most incredible things for uh, people back here on Earth. And um, and, you know, we have a dream to, uh, uh, to turn this, turn Virgin Galactic into, into uh, an organization that 
um, that where, where people here on Earth can marvel at it, where people can back, on, back here on Earth can sh share in it. 